Hey everyone, I'm Lindsay with Gardner Supply Company and spring is finally here in northern Vermont and we are excited to be outside and rebooting our raised bed soil for another season of gardening. We're going to start off first by cleaning up our raised beds. We're going to pull any weeds that might have popped up uh, and also clean out any dead plants that might be left over from last season. Um, you can pull up any kind of dead leaves or stems uh, from on top of the bed, but don't feel the need to dig out all of the roots under the soil layer. You want to avoid disturbing that while also removing any potentially diseased stuff on top. Once you've cleaned out your raised bed, let's talk soil level. Now when you first set up your raised bed and you topped it off with fresh soil, it probably felt like you had a dump truck load of soil going in there. But over time, raised bed soil will actually settle a little bit. Uh, soil and plant matter decays and breaks down, rain, and if you live in the north, snowpack will actually compress the soil. And so over time, you may see that it drops a few inches. Now if you're growing small herbs or leafy greens, you could probably get away with about six inches of soil. Uh, but if you want to grow larger perennials um, or any deep-rooted plants like peppers or tomatoes, you're going to want at least 12 inches of soil to plant in. Uh, these are our Somerset metal raised beds and they are 15 inches tall and we have them set on a really well-drained base. So we have plenty of room to play around and, and plant with here. Uh, so if you don't have enough soil in at the top, now is a good time to top it off. For plants to produce really big showy flowers and really vibrant tasty fruits, they need a lot of energy nutritionally speaking. That's why it's really important that we're putting into our garden soil what we expect to get out of our gardens. Spring is a really great time to add compost. Compost is awesome. It adds tons of moisture and beneficial microbes as well as organic matter to the soil. Uh, springtime, add at least an inch or two of top-dressed compost on top of your bed. If you don't have your own compost cooking at home already, you can certainly use a Compost Plus or another compost-based uh, mix. You can just add it right on your bed and mix it in the top layer. Spring is also a really great time to add a fertilizer. We recommend using an all-purpose fertilizer that's got equal amounts of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Using a slow-release granular type that you broadcast gently over the top of your bed is gonna help slowly dissipate into the soil in the coming weeks and months and provide your plants with nutrients for the first start of the summer. Um, this is an organic, com uh, an organic fertilizer. It's made of plant and animal-based proteins, no synthetic chemicals or any of that blue juice that you might have seen on the shelves in the hardware store. Uh, so it's safe to use on all your garden plants, including your edibles. If you're growing any kind of crops that require special soil chemistry, uh, blueberries for example, like a slightly acidic soil, uh, spring is also a good time to add any kind of soil amendments. Um, a soil acidifier, again, if you're growing blueberries, is gonna help lower your pH um, and help make for really healthy blueberries. Lastly, if you're unsure about the quality of your garden soil, or maybe you're not seeing great yields in your garden after several growing seasons, you might wanna consider testing your soil. Most states offer low cost soil testing through cooperative extension offices, or there are some really convenient, easy to use in-home soil tests that you can do yourself for pH, uh, for soil nutrient level, all kinds of different things. So whether you're gardening 365 days a year or you have a really short growing season like we do here in Vermont, these are some beneficial and really easy things you can do to reboot your raised bed garden soil for another great growing season. Follow us for more great gardening tips and happy gardening.